Good morning. Good morning. Have you had a great week? And what have you done this week? Have you been to see your grandparents? Taken care of your dog? Loved your mom and dad? And uh, that gives them a great week when you give them a hug. So a hug is always great. Today we are going to worship and praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And we're going to talk about the Lord's Prayer and forgiveness. The Lord's Prayer is in Matthew. All right, get your Bibles. We're going to do our Bible time. Get your Bibles. Turn to Matthew 6. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Matthew 6. Okay. Now, when you find that, I want you to go down to verse 9. And this here in Matthew is Jesus telling us how to pray. So, if you found that, let's read this. All right. And Jesus says, this is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. May what you want to happen be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins just as we also have forgiven those who sinned against us. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. Save us from the evil one. All right, now, that's how Jesus uh, taught us to pray. Now, let's talk about the book of Matthew in your Bible. Who wrote the book of Matthew? It was Matthew. He was one of Jesus' followers, and he wrote this book in your Bible. And why was this book written? It was written to show you and me that Jesus is our Savior. Now, we always talk about what words mean. What does the word Savior mean? It means someone who keeps you from danger. And that's what Jesus does. And once you ask Jesus to live in you, he is your friend. And you can talk to him anytime. He's always there. Now, the book of Matthew tells us about the birth of Jesus. And it also tells us how to be a son or daughter of our Heavenly Father. I always tell my grandchildren that if it was the girl to say, you're the daughter of the king or the son. You're the son of the king. And Charlie has written on our Sunday school wall, pieces of paper and it says sons of the king and daughters of the king and our children have signed those so that they believe that they're our daughter or son of the king okay let me see what else I wanted to give you here hold on alright now has there been a time in your life that you may have made a wrong choice God doesn't make us do anything. He gives us choices. Think about your life and when you go to school with your friends or when you're at home with your mom and dad or you go to see your grandmother and granddaddy. Uh, they may ask you to do something and you say, oh, I don't want to do that. But we are to be obedient. And obedience means that we obey. And it's very important to God that we obey. <clears throat> God gives us choices, and once you have Jesus in your life, you can talk with him and say you made a bad choice or something you said to someone. You can ask Jesus to forgive you and help you make good choices. All right, now we're going to do our praise time. If you're ready, get up out of your chairs. <laughs> we're going to move around and remember... What we do, we raise our legs, we raise our arms, and we move and we turn. And we are taught to do this in the Bible by King David. He praised God. He was out praising and dancing, moving his arm, and his wife made fun of him. What a horrible thing. But King David was obedient to God. He loved God. Okay, are you ready? This is what I want you to do. Now, for our praise time, that 
we love the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, raise your arms if you love Jesus. All right, raise them, you can move them. All right, now we're gonna do something else for praise. Stomp your feet. You love Jesus, yes. The third thing we're gonna do, move around now, turn around. You love Jesus. That's how we praise him today. All right, now we're gonna do one more thing. I want you to stand and raise your hands like this, and I'm going to give you a blessing. All right, you ready? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. Amen. And we know we've been taught that amen means so be it. All right. I want you to have a great week. I love you. And Merry Christmas.